So I'm that girl that was in relationships from the time she was 14 years old until at 31, I looked at my husband and I was like, peace out, dude, I'm gonna go do me now. But it didn't take me long after leaving my marriage to just find the next guy. The thing was... Uh-oh. Sounds like she went out to try to find herself. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. I was a lot younger and I knew that it wasn't going to last forever. He looked at me the same way. It was a casual thing. Um, but that, ending that casual thing, that's when it got really hard. Casual guy and I are still great friends, but separating that meant me going out on my own emotionally for the first time since I was 14 years old. When that casual thing ended and I was like, okay, Jade, we're doing this. We're doing this. We're going to learn how to just fulfill our own need. I went through at least a six to eight month span where I was very angry at men. Very angry. Translation. She went out there thinking that it was going to be so easy to get a new guy. And in reality, all these guys were ghosting her, they were using her, they were doing all these things that she never expected having never been in the modern dating world. And instead of giving her that exciting feeling that she was anticipating while considering leaving her husband to chase after something shiny and new, instead it left her feeling bitter and resentful. And during that very, very angry phase that I had, I still in my head was thinking, I, I still need to find a partner and that, you know, the search hadn't ended. So one day it hit me. I didn't know who I was. I had been a stay at home mom for years and everything had just been a like focus on the kids and everything. When it hit me that if I just took the energy and the focus that I had put on men and focused it on cultivating friendships with good boundaries with men and traveling or doing what it, what it is that I want to do, it, it was revolutionary. Why did all your friendships have to be with men? And second of all, how old were your kids at this point? If you're 30 years old, I gotta imagine your kids are still fairly young. At most, they're early teens. So why were you not still focusing on your kids? Maybe I'm wrong here, but it sounds like she just ditched her whole family to go out and get as much attention as possible from a bunch of guys. Well, here's something interesting. When they do surveys among divorced couples and the woman initiates the divorce, one of the top reasons she always gives is she feels like, I feel like, right? They never say, I think. They say, I feel like mm -hmm. he didn't do enough for me, right? It's like the number one thing. And I think that we give women like a totally overblown expectation that men are supposed to like serve us. He wasn't emotionally taking care of me. Usually means like I wanted him to anticipate that I want him to do a bunch of sh that he would never think about that I would want him to do. If we see that women are just generally always dissatisfied, they don't think their partner as a man, partner, I don't do the partnership thing, but they always say, my partner isn't supporting me, he's not giving. Yeah, it's your husband or your wife. I don't know where we in started injecting partner into straight relationships. Enough, he's not doing enough. You know what me? that usually like, means? He's not good in bed. Just do your woman right and she'll clean the dishes, dude. <laughs> yeah, that chick might have a point. You know that dating motto that girls came up with? If he won't, find someone who will. Like, if he won't open your door for you, find someone who will. Simple, right? My brother just asked me, does that work for guys too? I was like, of course. Find a girl that is up to your standards. Yeah. So he's like, so if she doesn't cook for me, find someone who will. Yeah, technically. If she won't do my laundry for me, then find a girl that will. If she won't come to the gym with me, find a girl that will. Why does it sound so bad when men say it? It sounds bad to cook for a guy. It sounds bad to go to the gym with a guy. If these things are problems for you, something tells me your future holds many bigger problems. All these men in my comments are telling me I'm going to die alone surrounded by cats. You sure about that, sir? You sure about that? Hmm. Well, let's see. <laughs> uh, it's not looking good so far. Yeah, I'm thinking yes but to date a guy and be someone's girlfriend for free for free being someone's girlfriend is not worth it okay no 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 no. if you're gonna be a girlfriend he needs to be paying a bill or two these bills are due you i'm not usually anyone's girlfriends but i'll make that exception for you if you're willing to pay some bills yeah we're not surprised you're usually not anyone's girlfriend it don't matter how old a man gets he's always gonna have options younger finer fitter willing they wasted all their time telling all these good men 
oh no you know you're not my type and you know i need a man that's gonna do all this stuff for me oh you know you you too broke for me y'all y'all brag about the fact that y'all don't cook you brag about the fact that you're not cleaning for nobody you brag about the fact that you're selfish you brag about all these things that are contrary to what a man wants what happens is they start approaching that wall once they are approaching that wall or once they hit it they already got kids they're not in their prime anymore and then they get frustrated and try to convince other women that they also don't need men because now they no longer qualify. Yeah, that part's now what are you left with? More broken, true than anything else used, you said. Washed up, your self worth, your dignity, all of that done gone. If you the prize, who the prize winner? If you the prize, where is the collector of the prize? And uh, one thing I gotta say though, a lot of people throw around this idea that no matter what age you are as a guy, you can still pull and it might be at a slower rate, but just like women, as you age, your options go down. So all these young guys who think, oh yeah, when I'm older, I'm still gonna be able to pull and they're mocking chicks. It's like, no, trust me. When you get into your forties and fifties, unless you're in good shape or have money, that's the only way that you're still gonna be able to pull anything. And even then, a lot of chicks still aren't going to be willing to go for you because they're not seeking a guy 20 years older than them. They want someone their age. Now, you'll still have some options, but they will absolutely be limited. I think women, um, <laughs> but hear me out. For me, like my man, like he's my prize, right? But like a lot more people competed for me than him. Like women, we attract men easily. So you said that you're so, the prize because, because I, a lot options. more people it, competed for you, meaning that you have more options. Yes. Got um, you. I would say that out of all those options that you had, you chose him. He's a prize. Nope. Don DeMarco. <laughs> <Damn. Press up. laughs> That's a good point. He ain't have a lot of options. He just took what he can get. So who's to say if he had a whole lot of options, you maybe not even would have been his first option. <laughs> Got her. All that work and what did it get me? Why did I? Bro. 30 years later and still clueless. Ugh, as if. You should have at least five to seven guys on your roster paying your bills for you. Right? I know a really good trick to this. Instead of having five to seven guys, just find one guy that will give you enough money for all of your bills. So I have this one guy. His name is my boss. He doesn't even expect me to go out to dinner with him. All I have to do is show up for a few hours, do a little bit of work, and then I go home. He gives me enough money for all of my bills. It's great. And I don't mean to get political, but have you ever seen a man and a woman break up and you're like, he was such a catch. Like, what is she going to do without him? Yes. He is so much better off without her. Never. Yes. Have you ever seen that? I have Absolutely. quite literally have never seen that. I've definitely seen that. And also, how is that political? <laughs> what does politics have anything to do with what you just said? I don't mean to get political. Not men, mostly women at the college, college level. It's almost all women. Then men are the exception because women are initiating 90% of the time. And then if we break those stats down along religiosity, we might come up with some different numbers. But yes, it's mostly women breaking up the home. And How yes, do you know that's not men's fault? Well, because we can ask these women why the divorce happened. And we can look at court documents for the reasons that they put for the divorce. And we can run different polls where we're talking to them. And what we find is the same thing that was pulled up the other night here on whatever. He was a perfect guy. I just got fucking sick of him. I don't yeah. like him anymore. Or right? he didn't make enough money no or some crap like that. He didn't do that. anything wrong. I just don't fucking like him. Is she him not entitled to make that choice if she doesn't like her well, husband anymore? I think that if you put your own self's entitlement above that of your children uh, in order to have access to their father in a two-parent household, you're setting them up for failure. And that's what we see in the stats. And sure, she's entitled to do whatever she wants. That doesn't still mean that she's not a bad wife and mother and that her and others like her are creating or contributing largely to the downfall of society. Most women aren't actually feminine. Most women obsess over pretending to be feminine, but feminine energy is not about taking more spa days, working on your beauty. That's not what feminine energy is. Feminine energy is about embodying more receptive qualities, patience, warmth understanding, compassion. A feminine woman is not an ego-driven woman. Ego is obsessed with the external power and control. The feminine is focused on joy, peace, and love. 